Hey everyone, it's Monica with Kids Lit for my journey to a happier, healthier me on Friday, July 20th, right? I'm actually right. Wow. It is 10.58 p.m. I am exhausted. Today was another long day of us running around like crazy. Um, Marina had an appointment this morning for her acne on her face. She has been taking Benzoclin. Um, so we had to just go and get a refill on her prescription. And then we went for a beautiful lunch today at the Tulip. Um, for those of you who live in East End, you know what the Tulip is. It is an old school home style restaurant. And it's so good. I had um, pasta with just spaghetti sauce. And I got bread, but I got it with no butter because obviously they serve milk butter, right? Um, dairy butter, whatever you want to call it. And, um, Marina got cheeseburger with fries, coleslaw. So, um, that was really, really good. And then we went to, uh, Valley Village to pick up some stuff for Kevin. I'm not even going to tell you guys what we got. I'm just going to let him show you tomorrow because it's quite interesting. We had fun picking that out, I tell you. And, uh, then we went to Marina's store so that she could move around her stuff. Because she moved back to her old space. Remember we were telling you that um, she had moved to the bigger space with the wall to hang her pictures or paintings. I'm sorry. But um, Dan, the owner, was actually saying that she was getting more traffic where she was before. So we decided that, well, then we'll move her back. So that's what we did today. And um, then we met up with our friends. And since I promised her that I would at some point say hi, and I've gotten her permission now. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Eleuthera. Hi, Callista. We had such a good time with you guys today. Can't wait to go back again. We went to Stan Wadlow um, Park, but it's a Kiwanis Club pool. So that was really fun. That Woodbine and Cosburn kind of area, um, Cedarvale, at the clubhouse, I guess. I don't know. There's all kinds of different names for it, really. But anyway, we had a blast. Marina and I got there a little bit early, but by the time we were finished, we had swam for about three hours today. And I'm burnt. My nose is pitch red, unfortunately, because I couldn't find the sunscreen. So I was kind of being careful. I had on my hat, and I kept turning my back so that the sun would be at the back of my head. But <clears throat> obviously, I still got burnt. My shoulder... They're not too bad. They don't hurt. So hopefully tomorrow it won't be worse. Um, but yeah, what a nice ending to our day uh, as far as going out goes. And we came home and um, Cooker, Lisa, and Yaya, Antonia, who you guys know, came over. They watched Charlie for us while we were away. So we had a little thank you dinner for them tonight. I made samosas, which I bought from my friend Sarah's mom. She made them and they are delicious. Oh my goodness. Fabulous. I made some steamed broccoli and we had salad which was just lettuce, green pepper, carrots, green onions, carrots. Wait, did I say that already? I don't remember. I'm really tired. I'm sorry. And balsamic vinaigrette dressing. It was so good. Um, I wanted to tell you guys about the toothpaste that I bought. It's called Green Beaver. Hold on. <laughs> I have some stuff to show you. So. Okay. Let's see. This is the vegan toothpaste. It is Green Beaver and we got the green apple flavor. And I hope you guys can see that down here. It is sodium laurel sulfate free triclosan free and fluoride free. It's biodegradable, vegan, gluten free, homeopathic friendly. So super excited about this. And is the price tag still in the box? Guess not. <laughs> Four forty nine folks. Really good deal. At the Better Bulk in Toronto at uh Woodbine and Danforth area if you're interested. Obviously if you live in my area. If you cannot get something like this, I highly suggest that you look it up. Um, and try and get it if you are a vegan. Um, toothpaste is one of the biggest. Toothpaste, um, shampoo, like all these kind of products that everybody thinks, you know, they're not that big of a deal. 
they aren't vegan, believe me. So if you're vegan, definitely do your research. This is what we had for dinner last night, I was telling you. <coughs> they are almond grain burgers by Stahl Cuisine. These were, and are, because we will definitely be buying them again, fabulous. We have tried the, um, a different flavor last time. So this time we went with this one. And it says right on it, vegan, trans fat free, high source of fiber, and a source of calcium and iron. Came, uh, it was four patties, and I think this was four ninety nine. also. Prices, I think, are actually like on the shelf when you buy it, sorry. So, it takes just a few minutes. Um, they're 130 calories for one burger. Um, really good. It is 13% sodium, but, I mean, it's a burger. So you kind of got to expect that unless you make your own. And now that I got a camera, I will be showing you guys how I make my homemade veggie burgers, which are amazing. Super excited about that. And this is something else that I bought. Now, I never, ever buy anything like this. Sunripe Fruit Bites with 100% fruit and vegetable snacks. Okay. Now, the reason why I never buy these is because usually they're full of crap. But these ones, for one pouch, and I'll show you a pouch... It's the same size as any other little animal jelly or whatever you want to call these things. Um, so, I just find that, you know, normal. Um, but this one is strawberry banana. Okay. And they, again, I will show you the box. Can you see that? 100% fruit and vegetable snacks. Wait, there's the good part. No sugar added. So, think about that. If you want to give these to your kids for school... They are all natural. What it says is yummy bite-sized shakes bursting with 100% fruit and veggies, too. And what's more, there's nothing fake for you to worry about. No preservatives, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors. That is amazing for a snack like this. I'm not going to mention any of the other names of the things very similar to this, but you guys know what I'm talking about. And they are pure sugar. So in one pouch, it's 45 calories, zero fat, zero cholesterol, 10 milligrams of sodium, which is only 1%. 4% of carbohydrates, 12 grams, 4% of fiber, which is 1 gram, sugars is 11 grams. Now, you might think that that's a lot, but when you compare it to, um, say, okay, the burgers obviously have zero sugar. That was not a good example, but, okay, let's compare it to plain old ketchup, okay? So, in one tablespoon of ketchup, there is 4 grams of sugar, so... In one packet of these, there's 11 grams of sugar. So, a tablespoon of ketchup, or these. And I mean, what it is, is that you're trying to give your kids something that's healthy, but sweet, so they get that flavor. And I will tell you that it's working. Like, sometimes I want something sweet, but obviously I can't um, always go out to the store to buy myself a vegan treat. Because as you guys know, I like the sweets from the Earth one. Um, and I've tried some other ones, and most of them are really good. So I just think that these are great little something to grab. So, yeah, just thought I'd show those with you. Share those with you, I'm sorry. And, um, oh, we also bought the bit. Oh, it's actually heavy. We bought the bit of one liter of pure maple syrup. Oh, I can't even tell you. And look what kind it is. Can you see that? Oh, it's upside down. Ooh, amber. We are fans of either amber or dark maple syrup. I don't know why, but this is from Danbury Farms, and the people were actually there. It's in Milton, Ontario. We got this at the farmer's market last night. Now, for these um, one liter bottles, what we do is we just pierce a hole in this little nubby thing here, and then we pour it out like that. <laughs> we're dorks. We have to have maple syrup in our house at all times. Um, what else do I have to share with you? I can't think. Oh, I want to show you my new camera. Hopefully it's in here because they were looking at the pictures. Ugh, I feel like it is. Oh, it is. Okay. Here's my new camera. It's a Sony. Ugh, as I drop it. And you probably can't see. Right there. Oh, yeah, you can. It says Shiber, Cyber Shot. This is a sweet camera. So... Over our vacation, I filled a 4 gig card and moved on to the next one. So I have quite a lot of uploading to do onto my computer, or downloading, whatever you want to call, call it.
call it. So I'm going to get that done in the next couple days, and I will leave a link to the album so that you guys can see. Plus, we'll have some videos for you guys to share with us, because we took quite a few videos while we were there. All right. Um, again, I'm not sharing the vacation with you guys, because Marina's in bed, Kevin's at work. And I like to share that kind of stuff with somebody else with me here, because it's so much more fun and lively. All right, everybody. Um, I bid you adieu for tonight. I hope you're doing well. And uh, thank you so much to all of the people who are commenting on um, how different I look and the fact that you're noticing the weight loss in me now. This was really cute. Today we went to the swimming pool, like I said, and Marina was watching me. Um, I had put on a new bathing suit, and I guess she kind of was, like, not really sure if she should say anything. But then all of a sudden she's like, Mom, you can really notice that you lost weight. Like, a lot of weight. <laughs> it was really cute. So that made me feel really good and weird at the same time because I've told you guys how I have a problem when I lose weight. Um, I've been the same weight since I was probably about 13 years old and I'm 39 now so that's a long time to deal with a change in my life. So um, I may actually <clears throat> start going back and seeing my therapist because I don't want to get in the mind frame again that um, you know maybe I should stop in my weight loss journey and uh, go back to the way that I was. So the other day when we went to Value Village, what that was was a clean out of my closet. And what did I do? I got rid of the 3X sizes, the 4X sizes, and the 5X sizes that I've had for years and years and years. And I donated them. And why did I do that? Because now I'm in a 2X. I'm not going back. Those clothes are gone, and so is that old me. So here's to new beginnings, everybody. I've only got up to go as far as looking, but down to go as far as weight. <laughs> Share your smile, everybody. I love you. Bye.